What's up, y'all? It's Mommy Wata. I am back. Thank you so much for your support of Mind Right Botanicals. Here we plant seeds for the mind, body, and spirit. So let's see who the Holy Spirit wants to plant a seed for at this time. Which king or queen, zodiac or element? Queen of Swords. You are up, Queen of Swords. So let's see. Let's start out with the I Be Knowing Oracle deck. We're going to get into it, though. We're going to use a few decks for y'all reading. Let's see what the messages are for my Queen of Swords Collective Holy Spirit. What would you like for them to know at this time? Aquarius, Gemini, and Libras, please and thank you, Holy Spirit. This could be for a Queen of Swords who is listening, or someone could be listening about a for a Queen of Swords to know about a Queen of Swords Holy Spirit. Nevertheless, what are the messages for my Aquariuses, my Geminis, and my Libras? My Libras, my Geminis, my Aquariuses, my Geminis, my Aquariuses, my Libras, Holy Spirit. Let's see, please, and thank you. What would you like for them to know? 111, when I looked up, let's see. Holy Spirit, messages from you through me. They dream, fantasize about you. Okay, Queen of Swords. So somebody been dreaming and fantasizing about you. What else, Holy Spirit? Mm. That 5D connection can get out of control if you let it and take a break. Okay. So there may be someone who you are connecting with in the 5D Queen of Swords that you may not realize you're connecting with. I'm here. This is something that I feel like is unbeknownst to you, this connection. But they know it, whoever this person is. And they may be thinking about taking a break because of how intense you come off in the 5D, in the dream state. That's what I'm getting here. And you don't even realize, weary, I'm child, you got this person, weary, child, confusion. Because whoever this is that's been tapping into you, Queen of Swords, they may be feeling like they are in love with you. They may be feeling like they have betrayed you by tapping into you in the 5D unbeknownst to you. Because I'm telling you, you've been hooking up with this person. Whatever y'all been doing, I don't know. Maybe it'll come out. We'll see. But you don't know that this has been happening. That's what I'm hearing. You When you wake up, you don't remember hooking up with this, this, I was about to say third party, this other person. So I don't know who this is. What else, Holy Spirit? Mm, what else? Because he want forgiveness for tapping into you. Somebody, ooh, somebody mad, especially how that card just dropped and tried to fall down on the floor now. Somebody mad, though, because whoever this is, they've been divinely guided to stop doing this to you. Something has happened spiritually that has shown them they need to stop doing this, okay? Something is ordering their steps to take a break from tapping into you, and you are being freed from some sort of unconscious 5D connection that you didn't know was taking place, Queen of Swords. Whoever, whoever this is, I'm telling you, you got their ass weary and confused. You could be an animal lover. My hand is itching. They evil. Grace and mercy clear your energy, okay? Take flight is on the bottom. They can't stop watching and talking. Lost one. Giving up. Okay, so this is the energy of this person, okay? Because they can no longer do this to you, but they can't stop watching and talking about you because they know who you are on the 3D. You just don't know who they are. But they done lost one. They didn't have to give up this shit, okay? Because they evil for even doing this because I'm picking up this person may have been being intimate with you in the dream state unbeknownst to you, but, but God, but grace and mercy, over your life, Queen of Swords, and the universe is saying, 
clear your energy of this person, even though you didn't realize you needed to, now you do. But good luck and blessings are coming to you with this. My hand is itching. You are about to get some sort of unexpected blessing as a result of this persecution. This is given, you know, you, you already know how I feel about stuff like this. So Holy Spirit, what else do we need to know? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What else do we need to know about this weary, confused energy? Who had, look, Queen of Swords was on the bottom when I took the deck out the um, box, okay? But what do we need to know, Holy Spirit, about this energy? He was even asking for forgiveness, God. He want forgiveness from you for tapping into the Queen of Swords and taking advantage of her in the 5D. What do we need to know? Please and thank you. Holy Spirit, from you through me at this time, let's do one more shuffle, y'all. One more shuffle, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm, Herman, can they came out here? This person is trying to figure out where they went wrong, honey. Soul searching, truth seeking inner guidance. They trying to figure out where they went wrong in life. You got this person upside down because this is somebody who came in doing this to you in the 5D with no guilt or remorse. Okay? This is somebody who didn't have no soul, but they developing one. They going through the dark night of the soul. Okay? Eight of Swords, child. I'm trying to tell you this is somebody who didn't give a fuck, would do whatever to get whatever they wanted. And now they're being restricted from doing this to you. They're going through some sort of persecution, imprisonment. They having a lot of negative thoughts about what they've been doing to you that you don't realize, Queen of Swords. And, you know, grace and mercy is over your life, but I feel like you would be heartbroken. You know, I'm just, I'm just keeping it a bean now. I feel like you would be heartbroken if you knew what this person was doing to you in the 5D. They could be a Virgo. Okay. What they have done to you in the 5D. We got Gemini and Libra energy out here with this Eight of Swords and this Three of Swords. This King of Cups, Knight of Pentacles that came out here. Because, see, now he in love with you. He can't stop dreaming and fantasizing about you. He's hoping that you will forgive him for something that you don't even know about. That's how you know he warped. His perception of what it is is warped. He's watching you on the 3D, I feel. He's already been peeping you and taking advantage of you in the 5D. But this man has gone to some sort of 3D observance okay he could be i don't know he got some sort of routine around watching you though clarify hangman's out here i feel like you have let go of this connection spiritually as well because you didn't even know you were involved in it he's had to surrender it but I feel like it's something like the universe also disconnected you from him. Like when he went to go tap in, he couldn't tap into you. Even though you didn't know to stop yourself from being open and available to him, something else did. The most high God did. That's why this grace and mercy is out here because they stood up for you when you didn't even know that you needed to be protected. And they blocked this man from coming in on the 5D. What was this King of Cups? Yeah, he up under judgment now. He up under judgment now. What, what was this King of Cups hermit energy getting out of this Queen of Swords? He had you in the Eight of Swords. He had you in the Eight of Swords, honey. Mm. 
but you didn't know it. That's what I keep like. This is how you've been out here in the world. 1001. Working, doing what you need to do, working on yourself, going to work, taking care of others. Others have been showing you love too. Like this is the energy you in on the 3D. So he sees that whatever he tried to do didn't affect you. Like you're not suffering like he is. Okay. And he's heard about it. He's hurt that he is out there somewhere going through it and you chilling. You don't seem to be phased at all because you didn't even realize this man in the Ten of Swords and the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. He's got some sort of mental clarity about you observing you on the 3D and realizing that you're not affected. You ain't skipped a beat from what this man was doing to you in the 5D. I'm telling you. It may be remote viewing happening here. Okay. What else, Holy Spirit? I just had seen the Three of Wands. That's what made me say that. We have the tower. He he going through it, huh? And this is a boss energy. I'm telling you, this is somebody who could care less. This man probably was doing something with you in the 5D to harvest your energy, then going off and celebrating with other bitches. And that's on period. He ain't give a fuck. Now he in the tower because he see that you ain't affected. You chilling. You've regenerated even from this eight of swords, three of swords that he was trying to have you in. Like, I don't know what the hell this motherfucker was doing in the 5D. But that shit then backfired on him. You free of it. He been divinely got it. And shown that if he don't stop coming for you like that, he going to be suffering even more. Because when he tried to come in, that's when he got that warning. That's when he got that dose of what it was going to be if he kept trying to tap into your energy. He even learned some shit. The last time he tried to tap into your energy, it had him, has him, now has him, excuse me, in the Ten of Wands. The last, the last thing he tried to do to get some sort of energy off of you, some sort of abundance off of you. That's what this man has been doing. This is why you need to clear your energy, Queen of Swords. Because your energy is bringing in karma. Okay, because he now in the Four of Pentacles when he probably was sitting in the 10 quite consistently up until now, this man having a fight. He didn't drop from an emperor to a king of wands. He trying to figure out how he gonna move forward and make a way now, okay? You, whoever I'm picking up on, my queen of swords collective, you do have earth somewhere prominently in your chart and i'm about to tell you where i'm going to tell you where because i want to help people understand their birth charts better i want to help people know like okay if i'm acting this way this must be my capricorn and saturn that's popping out the responsible part of me that grounded energy so you might be a capricorn it might be your capricorn and saturn listen to me it's either you, either you got Capricorn and Mars or Saturn. Action and energy for your Mars placement. Responsibility and discipline for your Saturn placement. So one of y'all got Earth signs somewhere prominently in your Mars or your Saturn that's popped out and helped you continue to regenerate and not be affected by this masculine, what he was unconsciously doing well, it was unconscious to you, but he knew exactly what he was doing, okay? He knew exactly what he was doing. That's why he's up under such severe punishment because he knew, look, not a source with the devil with the seven of swords. He knew that if he took this action to do something very toxic, I'm telling you something, I ain't going to get into it, but it was bad enough that the universe had to huddle up for you about it and now that's why he in the ten of swords because of it 
because of this right here. Some sort of slick offer he was making to you in the 5D that you didn't know and was, I feel at some times forcibly being upset, being accept, forcibly being made to accept. I almost said something else, but we ain't finna get into that child. Okay, Queen of Swords. Whatever it was, it's been halted. Okay. This masculine evil energy really giving off some sort of warlock vibe. He's out here as the King of Cups, Emperor, King of Wands, and a lot of other shit. The this Virgo hermit. So he could be a Virgo. Well, I did say that. This Capricorn, he got a lot going on, okay? But He's been halted from doing this to you, okay? And you do have some sort of blessing coming. Before we get into that blessing, though, let's see if there's any other messages the Holy Spirit wants us to know, any other oracle messages about this situation. What's out here so far, Holy Spirit? What else do we need to know at this time, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. What are the additional... Oracle messages for my queen of swords, please. And thank you, Holy Spirit. You ain't out here because you ain't even... This queen of swords energy ain't out here because you ain't had to defend yourself from this person. You ain't even know what the fuck was going on. Okay? He did have you in this eight of swords, three of swords, though. But you ain't know it. You didn't feel it. And you were protected from it, ultimately. So let's see. What else, Holy Spirit? Let's do one more. Look, cut the deck on finality. Because this is over. That's what I'm hearing. Ooh, my stomach growling. It's time to eat, Holy Spirit. What else, though, before we end the reading for my Queen of Swords? What else would you like for them to know, please? And thank you. What else here, Holy Spirit? Family then came out here again. One of y'all might be expecting a child, fertility, parenthood, pregnancy. This came out also for whoever this is right here. They may have ghosted you. Because you told them that you were pregnant. And this person may have been trying to pull from your energy because you were pregnant. Obsession out here about the bottom. Clarify this family and running. He ran away from some sort. Whoever is doing this to you, at some point you were expecting possibly with this person. And they ran away from the responsibility. They ghosted you. Whoever this is that's doing that to this to you now, that's how you'll know who this is. That's what I'm hearing. Distracted. This person acted like they didn't want to have a child, like they had something better and planned for their life. They switched up on you. Now they're obsessed with your energy. Because obsessed back on the damn bottom. Addicted to your energy. And they sick now because they can no longer tap in, Queen of Swords. What else, Holy Spirit? Mm -mm. Let's see. Peace. You were at peace. You were in the Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. You were not aware of what this shape-shifting energy was doing this warlock vibe i'm getting off this masculine they truly are evil and i don't like to say that about people but you know it's a lot of very dark things i'm picking up that they were doing to you in the 5d and you know i'm just not gonna talk about them and they said too because they can't do it no more 1919 and that's also why i feel like the universe granted you grace and mercy i feel like the the universe gave you this peace of mind on the 3D as of late that you are not even affected by whatever they were doing in the 5D. You you truly have some sort of blockage. Like, like maybe he thought he was even doing it to you, but he wasn't doing whatever to you. Maybe something else was feeding that source of energy he was receiving. 
That's what I'm also getting too. Like you are not affected at all about this man's behavior. Return and conflicted. He may try to connect with you on the 3D because he's been watching you on the 3D. Now that he can't tap into you on the 5D, this masculine may return, but he's very conflicted because he knows what he's been doing. And he also knows that he ghosted you at some point behind some sort of possibility of a family or a pregnancy, okay? He caused you a lot of pain, but he been out here spying on you. Well, anything else from the Oracle deck? And then we're going to close out about this unexpected blessing coming to you. Abandon. He abandoned you. He left, he left out, walked away, went cold on you. Yet he out here spying on you. But again, he's spying on you because he can no longer steal your energy. And that's on period. Anything else? And you don't deserve this shit, Queen of Swords. That's why the universe is ending fin finality, ending this karmic cycle with this person who possibly either you were a third party to them at some point or they were a third party to you because the Three of Cups was out here and I did almost say third party in the beginning. Okay? So... That it's it's a farewell on this, what he was doing, and this connection as a whole. You have set boundaries with this person, okay, and you're not going to allow them to come back in on the three D. Okay, let's let's clarify about this unexpected income, unexpected blessing that's coming in before we close, Queen of Swords. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what can we know about this? My hand is itching, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. What is the insight and clarity that you would like for us to receive about this unexpected income, this unexpected blessing coming towards my Queen of Swords as a result of possibly ending this connection on the 3D and setting clear boundaries with this masculine? That helped to set clear boundaries in the 5D. That's what I'm hearing. You know, like I, whatever he was pulling on, I don't think he was getting that energy directly from you. <clears throat> I think he thought he was. And that's why he's suffering so bad right now. Because whatever he was using, then kind of backfired on him. So let's see, Holy Spirit. What do we need to know about this? My hand is itching. Please and thank you. Let's see what came out. Queen of Swords. Y'all finna get some money, honey. Okay? Y'all done popped out here, child. Now, I'm trying to tell you. What else, Holy Spirit? Mm-mm. Three of Swords is out here. Two of Cups. My hand is itching. Could be viewed as prosperity. And that prosperity can be viewed in many ways. Prosperity is when you receive a unified love partnership, a committed monogamous companion after you've been placed in a third party situationship and your heart has been broken as a result of that. So that is possibly the prosperity that's coming towards you, Queen of Swords. That's what's out here. Somebody, ooh, I can't make it up. I can't make it up now. That's that's an unexpected blessing. That's abundance in another form, okay? What else, Holy Spirit? Okay, then, Queen of Swords, child, look. Here go your match. Look, here go your match. Okay, so I definitely would continue to keep my guard up to this third-party fallen warlock here because he can't do this magic on you no more seven of swords who been plotting and scheming in the 5d with this three of wands he he expanded his mindset to actually project to you and do whatever this was he was doing 
And maybe this King of Swords energy. Clarify this King of Swords. Because it's, it's looking justice. It's really looking like the way he fallen between you and this warlock. It's really looking like he may have been already protecting you on the 5D. With this justice here. Okay, Queen of Swords. That's what it's giving. Six of Pentacles. He's been giving to you and receiving from you in a way that has allowed him to protect you, your divine counterpart. This person already know who you are, I feel. Just like this other person been watching you. Ooh, the Holy Spirit say that's the truth now, Queen of Swords. So whoever this new person is that's coming in, they already been protecting you spiritually from this other masculine. Moon on the bottom, Ten of Cups, and they're coming in to offer you a bright future. Okay. Wow, y'all. You ain't, and it's crazy because you ain't even had to fight none of this battle. That's how grace and mercy can be imposed upon your life. Eight of Wands, how there can be swift changes happening around you, for you, to protect you, and you ain't even aware of it action being taken on your behalf and it's all being done for your greater good with this six of wands okay and i'm gonna drop the mic queen of swords i'm gonna drop the mic i hope this message helps you all i hope it gave you insight and guidance on how you should move forward but always remember if it doesn't apply please let it fly take only what resonates Leave the rest and I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.